it's high tide and we're going to set off uh, towards Gladstone. Going to go around the top of Facing Island in towards Gladstone and try and find somewhere to anchor for the night. Past the point and we're heading out very hard to see the sandbanks now and it's top of the tide and basically I'm going to run over the top of this sandbank in a minute well we're heading over the top of the uh, sandbank I believe and we're in uh, 2.8 of water and the points there the coast just gone over a sandbank at a, a 1.9 here and we're uh, just about you've got to let the topping lift down Jack and uh, that's how far we're off the shore now through there Capricorn beam. Looking down the run line to make sure there's no obstructions in oh, the way. Okay, then how are you going? Have you got very far yet or what? Yeah, I've got around 17 nautical miles. Okay. Here's Jack, he's, uh, he's picked, he's been on the boat two weeks now and he's just picked up a book and he's kind of given his phone away for a day. Not very good reception along here anyway and so he's going to have a go at reading Bill Bryson. Little history, short history of everything on science. Uh, you'll find it very interesting. Well, we're going along nicely at around whoa, five and a half knots. Uh, and the autopilot's doing quite a good job with the inconsistent swells. And then here's Simon having a nap downstairs. Going down on a much of a run, I suppose, just about near going towards the end of facing island which I think is about four miles off coming into Gladstone just going round facing island right in front there is a red mark and then there's two green marks and luckily for us we've seen a large passenger vessel from uh, Heron Island come through so it's is giving Jack a good opportunity to see where the channel is. Jack's doing a great job steering us in here. 
and see the anchored ships in the background. Well, there we are, you can see us on the red dot at the bottom there, going around facing Ireland. There we are here, I'm going to come in, go around that buoy, up, up that way, basically the parallel to that channel. Well we've got round, we're going round that uh, green marker ahead now, and then we're going to head up, head up the channel. It seems to be blowing very fresh. Coming up the channel now, past the first coal loading point. Uh, over there. And there's what we're doing, doing about 4.7, staying out the channel. I think you might be able to see a ship back there coming in. Going really well. Cracking on at I think about uh, five and a half knots against the tide of about half a knot I think. Very, uh, very actually quite calm in here. And another vessel coming in right behind. Yeah, everything's happening here. Two tugs coming in on a big uh, coal ship. And we're in only two meters, two and a bit of meters of water over here. This vessel here is turning it round. The uh, boat's full of stern, stern tugs pushing and the bow tugs are uh, pulling. Anyway, we've got to go in the marina now before dark. Well, after running aground a few times just opposite the marina here, we're coming in here. And we're gonna get a marina for a couple of nights. This jetty here has got one from Heron Island on it. And I think the first uh, jetty is all commercial boats. And we're somewhere behind that. Well, we've made it safely in the end into Gladstone Marina. And it's just a coincidence, but we've got another Nolex here called Targazer. Very nice. It looks like it goes nowhere. Paid the uh, marina fees, which I think were about $41 a day, less 10% discount for being a shagger. So anyway, that was quite good and uh, we're now doing our washing. Lucky our berth's not very far from the centre complex here. The marina office is in the centre of the screen. Next door is a kind of lounge you can sit in, have a cup of coffee and that sort of thing for the yachties. And then there's shops which are pretty denuded at the moment. And that over there is the toilet block and the bins. This is the laundry facilities. really good they've got some decent really brand new laundry equipment in here and some nice dryers as well and you pay by can you pay pay by your visa card basically or mastercard this is the uh, men's showers looking in a shower block very nice actually and with a big big shower and a nice grate on the floor front entrance 
where we're going to get on a bus in a minute. Uh, there's a, a bus that goes in at 10.30, a shuttle bus, and uh, takes you out uh, to the supermarkets, brings you back at 1. Courtesy bus here, a pair of us. I think it's the only the two of us on it. As you can see, there's two coal ships uh, loading there. There's actually three docks there, one's closed at the moment. Coming on round here, you've got a nice catamaran called Dignity. And then you've got Waymaker from Melbourne. Nice catamaran here. Seen that in a rise in shores, Shiota. A very large one here called Double Shot. It's a Granger 785. And there's a few nice sailing boats down there. This is the members lounge. It's very nice. You can go and sit down anywhere in here. It's got a dining room table and uh, out the back here in the dark it's got a kitchen, dishwasher, fridge, my computer charging over there. I'm going to just do a bit of work while my son's in bed and looking at the lounge room there there's a nice And look at that, it's got one of my videos playing. And the quickness to get away, I forgot to film coming out the uh, marina berth. Anyway, we're heading now out and over to the fuel wharf now. Heading out and over here is HMS Gladstone, retired. Hi, Rasp Garmeas, I think it is. I think they're loading sugar. I don't think it's grain because I can't you get a little bit of dust coming out, but there is definitely no uh, dust coming out of that hatch they're loading up there. This one, a blue boat, is a small uh, oil tanker bringing refined. Uh, Diesel and petrol and everything over from uh, to Malaysia or somewhere. Nice breeze blowing today, and Jack's getting the uh, jib on here. And uh, down there, there's the end of Facing Island behind these uh, coal loading wharfs up here. We're doing about seven knots with the tide out of the uh, harbour here and this is the uh, aluminium factory, the Luma factory I think and that's the, the raw product coming in which is bauxite on the end of these cranes it's quite heavy that bucket he's got there Gonna bring it in and drop it in that hole. I think, I think the other one's having a tea break. And we have another one here 
we looks fully loaded, ready to be unloaded. And I think it's something else, it's like cement or something. You can see the dust coming out of there. Probably another uh, product you put with uh, aluminium. Going down the channel at the at eight knots at the moment. And this is what it looks like above. One yacht coming in and one catamaran heading, I think, for Pancake Creek. And there's a fair bit of tide here. This is another little fuel tanker called Larkham. And in front there, I think, is where we're heading, Pancake Creek somewhere. A Larkham of Gladstone. I think it's a bunker ship. That's a ship that fills the uh, fuel oil before they leave. We're coming in to Busted Head. Uh, in, the, in here there is uh, a sandbank on one side, out here, uh, to the north and the rocks on the inland and basically we want to be quite close to the rock. It'll kind of come evident in a minute. We're coming in pretty much now in the right spot. There's a big sandbank all the way down on this side here. And in a minute we'll as soon as we get out of this past this boy it'll start to get quite smooth. Going in on a dead run, basically. Over this side, you've got the uh, headland. Passing a lunar a laguna called Dignity. This is our first red turning boy. There's a couple of these and I think there's a set of leads. And uh, we're going in on the leads now. Through basically between the red and the green. Look at that, didn't have it on. Looking east, there's seven boats in Pancake Creek. I very like, much like this uh, true blue right next to me, but it uh, must be from uh, down Sydney or Melbourne, you know, you look at the cover on it, it's uh, definitely for a cold climate. Looking up river, there is about 12 boats here. I think the sun, we might get a sunset tonight, uh, it's just gone in behind the cloud. And the tide's just turned and is coming in. We'll get a bit of protection tonight from this sandbank. We left Gladstone today at 12 o'clock. We arrived here at 4.30 at Pancake Creek. Had a fantastic sail, really good on a kind of broad reach. Jack managed to get the boat up to about nine knots. I think I managed about eight. And uh, it was a quite a uh, good trip of uh, 30 nautical miles. Uh, tomorrow we hope to uh, set off from here and head towards the reef. I'd like to get to 
Fitzroy if it was possible tomorrow.